starter. I'm lined up with the rest of the car. It's looking good it's right here. So the connection for the starter will have to allow you to be able to change the mounting location or the mounting uh, end. All right, we got a good one today. Wasp actually sent me out their high torque starter for my car. And so the thing is, the reason why we wanted to go with something like this is because we didn't want to go with an OEM style starter. We wanted something that's gonna be able to start the car up like that with no issues at all. These are a high torque starters, which means it starts at a bit of a higher RPM, which sounds a lot better, kind of like those F1 starters and things like that. It's huge. It's really big. So the thing is, is for me, especially with my car, and you guys have seen the setup that I have with the fish racing bell housing and the space that I have is that it's really tight in there. But one of the great things about it is with Wasp, what they allow you to do is, is they allow you to be able to change the mounting location or the mounting uh, angle. So basically, if you mount it like this, it's too far to the side or anything like that, you can actually turn this so it allows you to move the motors up or down or at a different angle so that it fits in your car. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that looks like under my car because I was actually able to test fit it, adjust it to make sure that everything fits. If you guys are looking for a high torque starter, if you guys are looking for a higher amperage alternator, or you're looking for replacement parts for your high torque starter or alternator, Wasp Performance has got you guys. You can actually head over to their website and they have a whole bunch of replacement parts. You can purchase new alternators, new starters, and they have them for a wide variety of applications. So like for me, this is an RX-8 style motor, uh, starter motor for the FD motor, the REW, but you can get it for your RX-8, you can get it for your FD, you can get it for a wide variety of motors. So go to Wasp Performance, check it out, and they'll be able to help you out. If you give them a call, you can talk to Matt. He's a great guy. He's the one who helped me out, so thank you, Matt. If you guys need that, I'm sure Matt will be able to help you out too. Okay, so we are now going to install the starter. She's a thick one, but it'll be great. It's actually starting the car, and it actually goes right down there so fish racing actually made the bell housing and they made it super easy with a lot of space and the thing is like for me i really was worried about the space and since wasp has the adjustable top on it i'm gonna do my best to film everything under the car but one of the things that's great about this and i'll show you if you look right up in there there is a ton of space is once the starter is mounted in here there is little to no room over here on the firewall, right around there. So that made it extremely, extremely hard to make sure I fit it in there properly. Even though we were having that figuring, uh, even though we were having the issues with figuring out spacing on it, since this is adjustable and we do, we are able to turn it and change it so that we can have different mounting styles, it worked out perfectly. Let me tell you something, there's not a lot of room under there. And honestly, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna film this under there. All right, so I got the starter in and uh, fitment's actually really, really good because if you look right there, that is all the room that we have in between the body of the car and the actual starter. And what's great about this is since that I was able to adjust it, and turn it and bring it down, it doesn't sit too low, um, so that's really good. And then the other great part about it is, um, I mean, so I do have that little bit of space there and I feel like maybe I could adjust it, but I feel like if I turned it just one more hole to the left or technically the right, um, I might be either touching the body or I might be too close to the body. I might be able to check it out and see, but for right now, that works out perfectly, easy install. And then on this side, we have the actual connections and right here. So the connections for the starter will have to either run below the transmission or up above the transmission and down to the starter over here. But it looks really good. I'm happy with the way it fits. It still works with my fuel filter. Um, they're not touching or anything like that. I won't have to worry about it knocking because the fuel filter will actually be tucked up right around here. So it looks really good and I really can't wait to hear this thing start because these things sound amazing when they actually start a car. Um, so I'm gonna actually get this thing fully bolted down. I got the bottom bolt in for the most part. I just have to do the top bolt. And to show you the top bolt on this, right up there on this setup, 
is it's a two bolt it's a one bolt all the way through and you have a nut on the end so I have to hold it tighten it on both sides so I'm gonna do that and I'll get back to you guys but uh, the fitment is looking pretty mitt on this thing if anything now that I'm thinking about it I wouldn't be able to adjust it any more holes because once the top half on this once the top half once the top half actually sandwiches it in this part is actually gonna come a bit closer to the body I don't think by much but then that will show that we won't I won't be able to actually adjust it anymore because we'll be pretty close to the body but the spacing is good for the actual starter and the fuel filter and it looks pretty good so yeah okay I got it installed it's down there she's looking beautiful it's looking really good the fitment is mint let me show you guys and let me get up under here it's looking real good in here the fitment is on point I don't have to worry about it sitting too low or anything like that and that space that I was telling you guys about right there it's real good we don't have to worry about it hitting the body or anything like that so I'm super happy about that super happy about the way that this fits in the car don't have to worry about any fitment issues I'm super glad that I was actually able to orient that orient orientate that in a way that it doesn't uh, actually hit the car. So I'm super stoked on that one. It looks really good. I'm super happy about it. I can't wait to hear it start. And if you look right there, that's the starter. Lined up with the rest of the car, it's looking good. So we don't have to worry about fitment issues there or clearance issues under the car or anything like that. I knew we weren't gonna have any issues, but it's always something you, you don't think about until it's actually on there. And I'm glad we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, you should hit that subscribe button because I make decent content and we're here to make more content. This car, Samantha, she's almost ready to start, so you should probably hit the subscribe button just for that because it's going to be insane. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.